published 0943 s the 25th of November 2017 updated 1040 s the 25th of November 2017 Anastasia Palaszczuk is confident of claiming a majority in the Queensland elections despite the result hanging in the balance while one nation has failed to pick up a seat with just over 60% of the vote counted, Ms. Palachuk's Labour Party has 41 seats, while the opposition Liberal National Party has 37. One Nation, fronted by Pauline Hansen during this campaign, has yet to pick up a seat, but is in with a chance of picking up the marginal Labour seat of Marani. Scroll down for video Anastasia Palachuk is confident of claiming a majority in the Queensland elections despite the result hanging in the balance saw at least 47 seats are needed to form a majority in the 93-seat parliament. Ms. Palaszczuk has been on track to win the election after exit polls and early counting showed Labour would reach the required 47 seats. Tonight we are close to the peak, but we are not quite there, and we will not get there tonight, she said. But I remain confident we will be able to form a majority Labour government once all the votes are counted, ABC election analyst Anthony Green said there's a high probability Labour won't get to 47 and they're going to fall short. Former Queensland Labour State Secretary Anthony Chisholm remained positive the party would secure a majority. I still think there is enough seats in play for us to get there. I wouldn't be pessimistic on that front at the moment but I would probably say it is looking less likely to know the result tonight, he said. LNP leader Tim Nichols retained his seat of Clayfield but suffered a swing of 4.2% against HIM. LNP leader Tim Nichols retained his seat of Clayfield but suffered a swing of 4.2% against him. Queenslanders have voted to shake things up, he told supporters. It is clear the Premier has not won in her own right. But let's be clear, neither have we. Ms. Palaszczuk held her seat in Inala enjoying a swing of 6.6% in her favour. One Nation's Queensland leader and LNP defector Steve Dixon has lost his seat of Booterham, while former Senator Malcolm Roberts said his bid to win Ipswich was over. One Nation, fronted by Pauline Hansen during this campaign, has yet to pick up a seat. It's disappointing that we are not going to win, but I felt very encouraged especially by the support that people of Ipswich have given to me on the streets, he told the ABC. Federal Party leader Pauline Hansen was confident of gaining some seats. I think we will win some seats, there's no doubt about that. It's going to be a long night, she said.